Houston, we've got a problem. After rumors and reports have just leaked that Russell Westbrook wants out of Houston, where do the Rockets go from here and where does James Harden and Russell Westbrook himself go from here? Now me, I am not surprised at all that Russell Westbrook wants out of Houston. If anything, Houston should want Russell Westbrook out of there, truthfully speaking, but I'm not surprised by this at all because from the time Houston even traded last year for Russell Westbrook, I'm like, these are two ball dominant guys, Harden and Westbrook. We clearly saw that it didn't work back in their days with OKC. And even though they weren't MVP players back then, they have grown into MVP players and two guys with big egos that are probably not gonna correlate and mesh well together. We clearly saw it this year as well on the basketball court. They didn't make it past the semifinals. They got gentlemen swept by the Los Angeles Lakers. So this news of Russell Westbrook wanting out of Houston does not surprise me whatsoever, but let's stop wasting time man, and let's hop right into this video though. So first thing I want to get into is specifically about Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook to me has always been the most overrated superstar in NBA history. I've been saying this for years and everyone called me crazy. I even made a video about it a couple months ago. I'm going to link to that above as well so you guys can hear more of what I had to say. But this year proves it as well. And look, I think he's a great player. I think he's the most explosive point guard of all time, the most athletic point guard of all time. He's a future Hall of Famer. For crying out loud, the guy averaged a triple-double for like two or three straight seasons. This is not hating, but do we criticize superstars all the time in sports? Yes, this does not exclude Russell Westbrook. This is not hating. This is criticizing why he's the most overrated superstar. But you guys can go watch that video. Like I said, I linked to it above as well. But talking about Russell Westbrook right now, he wants out of Houston for a multitude of reasons. He doesn't want to play with James Harden. Russell Westbrook wants to be the solidified guy. I want the ball in my hands. But the problem with all of that is Russell Westbrook, when it comes down to crunch time basketball and smart IQ, he's not the guy to get the job done. And look, I think he actually had a phenomenal year with the Houston Rockets this year. He took a step back, and that's not like Russell Westbrook, in Mike D'Antoni's three-point base shooting system, they traded away Clint Capella. They built this team around James Harden, and they gave him Russell Westbrook because Chris Paul obviously wasn't going to be able to fit as well, and Chris Paul wanted out of Houston as well. He really did do a great job of still attacking the paint, letting James Harden still be the dominant guy that he is in isolation basketball as well, and still being able to kick out of open three-point shooters. So I think Westbrook had a pretty good year this year, but we all knew he was going to want out of Houston, and look, his contract, nobody wants that contract. He's got three more years remaining on that contract that nobody wants. And after two years, he can opt into that third year. I think he's due over $130 million. That is a horrible contract for, yes, a top 10, top 15 player. But he he's just not a superstar that's going to be able to get you over the hump and say, we are automatically finals contenders. Even if you give him another MVP candidate like James Harden, Paul George, or Kevin Durant, He's not going to be able to get the job done. I don't see Westbrook really having another opportunity to win a ring at any other point in his career because when you look at James Harden and Russell Westbrook, they've accomplished everything individually in terms of their careers. They've both been MVPs. They've both dominated the league in different aspects and they have scoring titles. They've done their parts individually. It is time for them towards the lighter end of their prime and their downslope to still have an opportunity to go win a ring, whether that's in Houston or somewhere else or with other teammates while they still have this window of opportunity in their primes to go and win a ring. And I think a fun little trade scenario I could see for Russell Westbrook, in my head that's realistic, and of course you'd have to include other assets, but you guys get the point, would be a three-team trade. What I would do is I would involve Houston, Indiana, and Boston. And I would send Gordon Hayward to Houston, Russell Westbrook to Indiana, and Miles Turner to the Boston Celtics. The Celtics, since losing Al Horford, have needed a guy in the middle. Daniel Tice and Ennis Kanter aren't getting the job done, so I think Miles Turner fits in well there. I think Russell Westbrook would fit very nicely with Brogdon, who can kind of play off the two. Victor Oladipo still playing a three, and then with DeMontis Sabonis as well. And then Houston gets Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward, he's going to be the fourth option on Boston, but I think he's a nice two option in Houston. I think that role fits him a lot better, especially with the new head coach in there as well. And with James Harden, that's where I would see realistically a trade happening. 
but if it wasn't the Pacers for Russell Westbrook, I think the New York Knicks would be great because the Knicks have nowhere to go but up. They have all the salary cap space in the world. They have not won a ring in, I believe, 48 years. They've sucked for about three straight decades now. They're a joke of a franchise since James Dolan's taken over. He only cares about his bottom line, but Russell Westbrook, the athleticism and excitement that he brings to the game of basketball, and especially to a terrible organization and a terrible team like the New York Knicks, how much fun would that be to see him in Manhattan at MSG playing there? 30 wins never look so good if you ask me. 30 wins would look amazing with Russell Westbrook in a New York Knicks uniform. And let's just call it what it is. The Knicks just suck. If they want to go trade for Russell Westbrook, it's not going to help them. It's not going to hurt them. Whatever. It would just be for fun. But now I want to move on to Houston's problems and James Harden. I think if I'm the Houston Rockets, I trade Russell Westbrook automatically. And if James Harden wants out, yes, I will trade him. You're going to have to get a fortune in order for me to give up James Harden. You are not going to get a player of equal or better value somehow, some way out of that trade and other assets. I might pull the trigger or if the Warriors somehow give me some ridiculous trade with like the number two overall pick, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, and maybe other assets or something along those lines, I would need a team to give me an absolute haul for me to give up James Harden because look, like I said, I'm trading Westbrook first. He clearly wants out the door. He's clearly a big part of the problem, but that doesn't mean we can't also look at Harden and say, look, how are you not the problem? You didn't get along with Dwight Howard when he wanted out. You didn't get along with CP3 when he wanted out. You didn't get along with Westbrook and now he wants out. Even though you're the franchise player, you're the cornerstone of this franchise, you're a top eight player, one of the most prolific isolation offensive scorers this game has ever seen, we have to look at you and still hold you accountable, especially for your mishaps in the playoffs. And especially when we talk game seven versus a KD led Warriors team on your home court back in 2018, if I'm mistaken, Correct me if I'm wrong, 27 straight missed threes. I don't care that they didn't have Chris Paul. James Harden, you're the leader. You need to pull through. And he's had other opportunities too in the last four years, and he has not came through. That's why Mike D'Antoni's in Brooklyn. That's why Daryl Morey's in Philadelphia. James Harden, honestly, as soon as Westbrook's out the door, you're out the door too. We see on Twitter, Trevor Ariza, Austin Rivers, Eric Gordon, PJ Tucker, all these Rockets players, and Trevor Ariza being the former Rockets player, complaining about the organization and other problems that they have within the team or James Harden. Look, if I'm the Rockets, I'm blowing this entire thing up. I'm gonna try to hold on for dear life when it comes to James Harden, but as soon as Westbrook's out the door, Harden's gonna wanna be out the door as well. You are gonna get a haul for both of those players regardless, and of course, James Harden, you're gonna get better assets for. Otherwise though, I'm not too confident in the Rockets competing for anything anytime soon, especially after these rumors and reports that just came out. Hey, but that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about Russell Westbrook and the Houston Rockets. What are your expectations and where do you guys think Westbrook or Harden, maybe both of them get traded as well. And if you guys have any other video suggestions, always drop them down in the comments below. I'm always responding to comments. I'll link to my socials of Instagram and TikTok in the description down below as well. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much and I'm out boys. Peace.